Alrighty, hi everyone. So, we are here for part, I've lost count, five. Today we're going to take a look at all my crochet hooks and get those organized. Although one quick side note, I figured out the mystery with the, I had an extra needle that was in my advent scarf and I had an empty packet and I thought they did not match. What happened, they do live together. What happened was for the advent scarf it called for a 3.5 millimeter or US 4 needle for the first part of it and somehow I saw the 4 and translated that to what being what I needed. So I goofed up on the advent scarf the first two rows that I did. So I'll take that out and I will restart that tonight or tomorrow. So this has a home so I'll tuck it into its proper little package with all of its other friends. So mystery was solved. And I got my stitches out. So that's feeling much better. So I don't have the big bulky bandage on. So anyways, we're not here for that. It's hair. Let's drag out all this extra stuff and let's get the, the crochet hooks out and see what, we, what sense we can make out of all of those. And then we'll come back and we'll do the notions another day. crochet hooks. Huh, there's an extra double point that I missed. Two of these little hair things or shawl pins, whichever I want to use them for. Alrighty, and then the rest of this are all notions. Yeah. So we will come back and we'll look at that in, oops, there's one more hook. So get this out of the way, and let's take a look at everything we have here. So, I want to sort these, put these guys aside. I'm going to start off with a sort of organizing them a little bit. So I do want to just put these, looks like he's had a bad day. <laughs> he's got to abandon them. I think what I'll do is I will retrieve the tube out of here. So I do want to keep that all together. I don't think they're all, they're not all going to fit in here, I don't think. I'll try. They do help fit in there. Perfect. Okay. That's that bunch all settled. Now, these three or four, I can't count. I think I'm going to let these ones go. I will never use them. They're plastic. I don't know where they came from. But they're... They'll go in a donate pile. This one, I'm not sure where it came from. 
It's a size 7. And it's got some nice little carvings on it. This style of head on a crochet hook, I don't like working with that. But this is just such a lovely looking hook that I want to keep it. These ones here, these two for sure, these are both the Susan Bates. And as I mentioned, I do not like that style. If you'll see the difference between the heads on these two crochet hooks, I like this style. I do not like that style. And I know I do not use those. So that's a keeper. These two, the Susan Bates, are going to go in the donate pile. Now these ones, there's a set of four. And I think they range from Not sure if this is actually a set of four or I have no idea because the package says there's one in here. <laughs> so, clearly this is not one. But these ones are, there's two size H, these two, or five millimeter. There's a J or size 10 or a six millimeter. And this one is a G. Now these, I like the shape of the head on these, but what I don't like is this part here. So the way I hold, it's a nice thumb rest for some people, but when I crochet, I pivot the, the crochet hook, I, I spin it in my finger. And this, I cannot do that with this kind of crochet hook. Um, so these ones are also going to be donated. Or I will I will be getting rid of them somehow. So to those of you that were worried that I'm not giving away any of my crochet hooks and that I am I'm hoarding all of them. I'm keeping a lot of needles but I'm also letting a few of them go. Oops, one more steel hook. One more plastic one, that's gotta go. And I might not get back into, it. there we go. Put this guy down here. Oh, don't tell me I've got the maximum in here. I will probably in later sorting in my room, craft room, I will find more miscellaneous things, but for now, I'm just going to go with this and I will put any, any extra things I find, I will put them away when I find them. Now this one again is another one of these that I don't like that sharp edge on there. It's the right shape on the, the shaft, but I don't like that. So that one's going to be given away as well. Now the rest of these, is this the right one? That's 2.5. Now I'm just trying to sort which ones go. There's some that belong in this particular case, and there's others that are just miscellaneous ones that I've picked up over the years. This one's also will go. So I just want to get these all lined up and sorted and put back in here. I think I've lost this one. 
10 millimeter. It's a size 7. Is this a 7 or no? That's a 6.5. Let me just get these all lined up in size order. And I need my other glasses. So it's six and a half, five and a half, it's a six, that's also a six, five and five. Size five is probably my one of my most used size crochet hooks. I just want to make sure this actually is a five in this packet. Yes. That's another. Which one of these is the arrow? Hmm. Neither of them. That's a size four. It's also a four. What are these guys? So it's a size three and a half. It's three and a half, three, two and a half. It's a four and a half. Seeing the three and a half. Is that the right one? Yeah, that one goes in here. It's a size five with these fives. It's a five and a half. It's a six. It's a six and a half. And I'm missing the seven and ten millimeters. They might be hiding someplace in the house, or they might have gone missing. And then these are some of my extras I have. So these are all ones I'm going to keep. Which one was the three and a half? I suspect I have a few stray ones that are on my desk or other places. These ones might be in with my yarn. Hopefully I will locate those few guys later. But that gets all my crochet hooks organized. That'll go with the notions, my little plastic tapestry needle. Let's just get all of those tucked into here. So there we have it. All my crochet hooks are all nicely living together in one container. I will package up the ones I'm going to give away of the crochet hooks and put those aside so they're ready to go to a new home sometime in the near future. And otherwise, that's my crochet hooks. Like I said, I suspect I'm going to find a few more of them kicking around here and there in the apartment. And when I find them, and when I locate more bits and bobs, I will tuck them back in where they belong. Alrighty, there you go. All the crochet hooks are all sorted, organized, heading off to a new home sometime. 
or organized nicely in one little container. Thanks for watching.